Welcome to Tip Testers, I'm Andy. I'm Arla. And today we're going to try to open a bottle of wine without a corkscrew. Yeah! For our first tip, we're going to try to open one of these bottles of wine with a screw and pliers. So the best type of screw to use is one with wide threads, so it grabs the cork, hopefully. So shall we try to get it in there? Go for it, Andy. Let's see, just working it in. Uh, too slow. All right, now we'll try to yank out the cork. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait. Hooey! This next tip claims you can open a bottle of wine with a paper clip. I don't believe it. So the idea here is that we're going to bend out the paper clip and make a little hook in theory and then stick the clip inside and try to yank out the uh, cork that way. I think we're pretty skeptical of this. Yes, and it seems very rude on the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. All right, I'm trying to just penetrate that wine bottle, uh, but that gap is just a little too tight. Yeah, the idea is that the paper clip goes in the side of the cork and then you try to hook it on, but yeah, I'm calling this one. This Paper clips won't open your wine. For this next hack, all you need is an extra sharp kitchen knife. Andy. Uh, so the idea here is that we're gonna pry the knife into the cork and try to yank it out that way. I'm skeptical. And also, one of us might die. All right, I'm gonna back away from that because I don't want to get knifed in the face. <laughs> the idea is to put the knife in on an angle and slowly twist the cork out. And how's that working for you, buddy? Um, it's not working so far. Yeah, I'm not getting much movement from the cork, though I am just kind of destroying the cork. And also I'm cutting the glass, which probably isn't great. Well, I'm not really seeing this one work. What do you think? It seems like it would be more effective to just stab the cork down into the bottle. Yeah, I think so. So I think if we like whittle the cork out, eh? Hey? hey, here we go. Hey, it's moving. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a life hack. Now that we're good and messy, we're gonna try the most dangerous tip of all. Putting a bottle of wine in a shoe and throwing that shoe against a wall. So let's give it a shot. So the idea here is that you put the wine in a shoe, uh, remove the foil, you can lace it up to secure the wine if you want, and then we're going to gently hit it against the wall, hopefully dislodging the cork. Goggles down. All right, let's see what happens. I see no motion from the cork so far. Now my feeling is that this is not gonna work. Do you wanna give it a shot? What was that? Was that the wall? We did successfully break the wall, which I think was our second goal. I don't think that's Half of a millimeter, all. nothing? I don't think that's moving at all. Not really. It could just be because we are two very weak armed people. <laughs> so. That is true, we're bloggers. We don't have <laughs> muscle mass. So banging a shoe against the wall with the wine bottle didn't work for us. Um, what do you think? I think we need to stick with the classics. I think so. 